Hello guys and gals, we're back with another reaction video. This time T5G uploaded something about vehicles, and it looks pretty cool. I don't know, the thumbnail I saw there was a horse instead of that pink Corvette, but I don't know. Um, because I was doing research prior to this, but I don't think anyone has reacted to this one yet. It was loaded up, um, two days ago. So other people probably have reacted to this. Anyways, we, we've already done the, uh, 27 AFK Easter eggs. That was last week, I think. Was it last week? Yeah, I think it was. Anyways. So we have 25 secret vehicles and video games. Okay. Um, a link to the original video will be in the description, of course, along with a link to T5G's um, channel. Uh, make sure you subscribe and um, support the main the the original content creator. Um, let's go ahead and up the volume a little bit. We always do that with the um, reaction videos. Make it at least 50. Um, it's had 169k views within the past two days. So let's see what the hype's all about. I'm, I really like vehicles in, in games, and so let's see what we what we got here. Let's go ahead and look. Okay, well hit me with it. I'm really interested to see. I'm developers are really really cagey when it comes to hiding stuff like this. Pretty cool. Okay. Sofa? Um, this is completely off topic, but, um, during our, um, our homecoming, our town homecoming, they have bed races where people would, would, would literally take beds and put wheels on them and then, you know, push them. So that's kind of like the couch thing, I guess. I don't know, but that's kind of cool. Um, I think that maybe the Simpsons couch gag would work there too. <laughs> but anyways, um, let's see. Okay, Just Cause 3. I've never played Just Cause. So uh, this should be interesting. Let's go ahead and go. What? Okay, that's cool. That's cute. That's cute. Um... I like cute stuff like that. Um, rubber duckies that are rideable and are jet skis. Mm, seems feasible. I like it. Oh, we have Dying Light 2 now. Again, I've never actually played this game, but this should be interesting. It looks like those cars have seen better days, and there's a little smiley face there. I wonder if that's a reference to something, a little smiley face there. Um, that's pretty cool, though. Um, those cars look like they've seen better days, but maybe Dying Light is some kind of dystopian universe or something. But let's see. Okay. Hoverboard? Okay, that's cool. <laughs> uh, a hoverboard, that's definitely a throwback to um, Back to the Future. I don't remember which Back to the Future movie it was, but it must have been like the second one. Was that the one where he, he had the hoverboard? It's been a long time since I've seen that franchise, but it was one of my favorite franchises growing up. Um, that's neat, though. Um, neat the, that the devs hid that there. That's pretty cool. And they really make you work hard to get it, too, which is pretty cool. I like it. Um, okay, looks like Hitman 2. Um, Agent 47 there is looking bald, as always. Pretty cool. Um, let's see what Agent 47 can figure out. Okay. Oh well, that's cool. Um, nice, nice uh, call out, call back to Mary Poppins. Um, pretty cool. And that was a clip from Guardians of the Galaxy Two, I want to say. Um, but yeah, that's a vocal, a voice clip, audio clip. But that's pretty cool. I'm glad they hid that. That's kind of really neat, and then. You just have to really realize how much trouble every they went to hide that. You'd have you'd have to have the know-how of how to unlock that, and someone probably stumbled upon that on accident, unless the devs like leaked, you know, hey, this is how you do that. 
But that's pretty cool. Let's see. Um, this hasn't loaded yet, so I don't know what game this is. Oh, Ghost Recon Wildlands. Okay. Okay. Wow. Well, that's cool. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. Um, that's neat. I, I like it when they take um, inanimate objects and make them look like animate objects. Um, in this case, a llama that looks like a motorbike. I think that's pretty cool. Um, there was some anime. I don't remember what the anime was, but the protagonist motorbike looked like a unicorn or something. Or was it a horse? Something like that. I think it was like a horse. It was a really cool anime. I don't remember what it was called, though. But, um, yeah, okay, it looks like, um, but that's neat, too, because it makes the llama sounds when you accelerate and it, you know, when you, when you do the turbo boost, it does the rainbow thing. That's pretty cool. Anyways, we have Hot Wheels Unleashed. Let's see. Of course. Of course. A duck? Okay. That's pretty cool, too. Um, they make it challenging to get, which is cool. And it's just uh, an overall cool Easter egg right there. Awesome. Uh, chef's Kiss. That's awesome. Uh, let's see. We have, um, what's this? Far Cry? Six? Is that six? Ah, oh, Far Cry six. I didn't realize there was that many Far Cry games. I thought there were like three. But that's cool. Far Cry six. Okay. Tell me all about it. Okay. What? It can? Okay. That's pretty cool. Um, a flying car in a vehicle where there aren't supposed to be flying cars. I think that's a game changer. Oh, maybe it isn't. I don't know anything about that game. But that's pretty cool. I think it's really cool the devs hit that. Taking something innocuous and making it cool. I like that. Um, anyways, uh, we have Saints Row. I don't know anything about this game, but hey, it looks cool. Uh, it looks like there's a cool car right there in the middle. And anyway, like right here and right here and motorbikes. And so this looks fun. I, know, I have no idea what Saints Row is, but okay. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. That, that's cool. Um, also, Rojas is red, I believe. Rojo is red. Um, it's Spanish for red. But anyway, so maybe it's the Red Desert. I don't know. Anyways, I guess deserts could be red because of the, the iron in the sands. It's pretty cool. Anyways, um, that's a neat little um, trick to the Flying Dutchman, you know the iconic pirate ship and then the frying dutchman which because on fire love it um a very good callback i love that uh this looks like uh the simpsons hit and run okay um looks like there's a ufo do we get to ride the do we get to drive the us the, the ufo that's cool okay anyways uh let, let's find out Yep, it does. Drive the monorail? Oh no. Oh wow, that would be kind of frustrating. It's a neat little Easter egg though. Not all Easter eggs have to be, you know, useful. That's just a cool one, and it is a nice callback. I think Leonard Nimoy voiced in that episode as um, someone that was on the monorail kept Homer from, um, well, from jumping out of the monorail or something and ending his life, which is kind of iconic. And they were like, oh, you didn't do anything. Well, didn't I? And then he, like, teleported out. Oh, yeah, I remember that scene. Uh, but, yeah, that was pretty cool. Well, okay, Enter the Matrix. Okay, let's let's see what this is all about. For the word secret vehicle and imagine something you can drive? Oh, 
Okay. Okay, well that, that was weird. At first I thought they were Transformers, you know? Because they look kind of like Transformers. But I guess they were like supposed to be anthropomorphized cars. Very cool. Um, that is a neat little Easter egg, though. Um, cars are iconic, of course. Being a police cruiser and a Pontiac Firebird, I believe it was. Very iconic. That, that, that one's neat. I like that one. Now we have Forza Horizon 4. Again, I didn't realize there was more than one Forza game because I don't really follow that franchise, but this is pretty cool. Forza Horizon 4. When the game has so many cars like this one, it's easy to lose track, especially when one of them is exclusive to a season. A season? Okay. Oh no! Oh. Oh really? Okay. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Let's well, see. That's neat. Um, I like stuff like that. Um, a lot of people don't like the like the limited time stuff, but that's kind of cool. It gives people incentive to play during the season or whatever. Really, really cool. And I think the plus since the tie into the Barbie movie, and I don't know, everyone's talking about the Barbie movie, so I don't know if I'll ever watch it. But um, it looks like an interesting movie. Um, it's neat that they're adding cars to that game from it. Uh, anyways, let's see. We have Hitman now. I think this is the first one, the first Hitman. So let's see what Agent Forty Seven is up to. I know. Okay. 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 Well, that's cool. Um, I might know this Kirby one. Oh, maybe I don't. I don't know. I don't know anything about the Kirby games. But anyways, that's kind of cool, too. They would throw in a cute little dinosaur like that that you can ride around. Um, neat. The um, You have to admit, the uh, devs do have ingenuity. That That's brilliant. Who, who knew that feeding a plastic dinosaur apricots would, and then taking some kind of hallucinogenic thing, would give you a cool ride like that? That's pretty cool. Okay, so Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Okay. Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Despite the fact the series is 30 years old, it took them a while to bring a sequel to the game. Kirby's not bringing anything to Yep, mm-hmm. It wasn't until last year that his appetite got a little bit. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Um, I kind of knew about that just because I had seen the um, the Nintendo Direct where they announced that with the mouth full mode. I thought that was pretty a, a pretty cool feature. Um, neat. Um, everybody knows that inside Kirby is like a pocket dimension, and that's kind of cool. Um, really cool. Lots of ingenuity on Nintendo's part. So let's see. Gran Turismo 4. Cool. Let's go see, go ahead and see what's up with that. Useless? Oh, really? Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> that would be kind of a neat little Easter egg. Again, not all Easter eggs have to be useful. I think that's pretty cool, though. Um, I think my grandmother talked about, you know, that that car. <laughs> um, or having a Model T or something like that. That's kind of neat, though. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, okay, we it, it's really cool when the uh, devs throw in stuff like that. Um, let's see, so Just Cause 4. Mini car. Okay, well, let's see what this is all about. Just Cause series, in the latest game, there are 
Okay. Okay. Wow. Tiny tank? Oh. Wow. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was a nice little um, boop, boop, boop. I love that. Um, all those vehicles were really, really cool. Um, I think it's neat that the developers added those. Um, those are things you wouldn't normally expect to see in a game like Gran Turismo, I guess. Um, cool. I like it. Um, hats off to the devs. That, that's, that was really cool. Um, so now we have Manx TT Superbike. Okay. Manx TT Superbike. Uh, Manx cat is a tailless cat. It's genetically... It's a genetic thing, and someone didn't go around cutting the tails off cats. It's just a Manx is a tailless cat. Born without a tail. Yeah. Anyways, a uh, Manx TT Superbike. Okay, well, let's see what's up with that. Okay. Oh no! Okay, sheep. Well, that's interesting. Um, you'd be racing against sheep, I guess. And that's the Konami code, or the corrupted version of the Konami code. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, okay, Saints Saints Row the Third. Okay, someone dressed up like a panda. That's pretty cool. I like the chainsaw because it has that rainbow on it. That's kind of cool. It's kind of bloody though. I don't know. Anyways, um, Saints Row the Third. Let's go. Okay. Is that a, a, a reference to maybe Katamari or, you know, the one where you roll around the ball and get all the stuff, you know? Katamari, I think it's called, or whatever it's called, you know? Where you're, you roll the ball around and you pick up the small things first and eventually you pick up everything and you get a whole big old ball of garbage. Uh, I think that's called Katamari. That's pretty cool. That's a neat Easter egg, though. Um, I also, I saw the Ratmobile in there, too. Um, oh, Fallout 3. Um, I have that game. I just... No, wait. I think I have Fallout 4. I have the latest one, I think. But anyways, uh, Fallout 3? Hmm. Let's go ahead and um, have a look-see at this one, shall we? It's really neat when they, they add stuff like that, especially destructive vehicles. That, that's really interesting. Found out that your favorite vehicle was just a dude. Okay, okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> now that's me. That's Bethesda for you. That's, that's kind of a neat little thing, though. Um, and that's not something you'd expect to see in a, you know, a dystopian, you know, war-torn, war-ravaged area. A guy with a train for an arm. That's kind of cool. Uh, that's neat. Hats off to Bethesda. That, that's kind of really, really cool. Uh, okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, Roblox. I never played Roblox, but I know it's really, really popular. I think even Merg played um, Roblox for a while. Um, anyway, so this, this should be fun. Um, I know absolutely nothing about Roblox, so let's see. Um, okay. Okay, that's not creepy at all. That's it from, I mean, that's, that's Pennywise from It. Wow. Except he has a candy, an ice cream van now. Ooh. That's kind of a disturbing secret. But it's kind of cool, too. Nice reference to Stephen King's It, um, Pennywise. Um, cool. Uh, that's really kind of a cool secret. Uh, okay, Need for Speed 2. You never know what you're going to find. That's why this video is so exciting. Okay. 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 
predator of the racetrack. Okay, that's cool. Well, that's cool. Um, I never would have expected that. You get to play as a dinosaur. That makes the game 100 million times cooler. But um, that's also a neat little uh, neat little secret. Love it. Um, hats off to the devs for that. That's awesome. Now we have Fortnite. I never actually played Fortnite, but I know people really like seem to like that game. So um, cool. Let's let's find out what Fortnite has to offer. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, sorry. I didn't mean to pause it there, but that that I did want to comment on that. That was a neat looking car. Plus the fact that it says Rocket League. That, that's cool. That that's a neat little thing. All right, let's continue. Oh no. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. I know this. Oh no, <laughs> that was cool. Um, but yeah, I've already reacted to the video that's up there. Um, but anyways, the T5G did another amazing, outstanding job. This was an amazingly edited video. Um, as always, I would expect nothing less from someone as iconic as T5G. All, that, all their information and a link to the original video will be in the description below. And um, so yeah, keep up the amazing work, T5G. You are amazing. I can't really praise you enough. Um, okay, we're gonna let this play out. Thank you, Tommy. Um, we're gonna go back to the uh, small screen here and uh, gonna go back into OBS. Uh, but yeah, um, that was um, 25 Secret Vehicles in Video Games by T5G. An amazing video. And um, Special thanks to T5G. They make amazing videos, and it's always a pleasure to react to them. Hopefully I did a good job. I tried my best to compliment, comment on every single little sec section. And um, so, yeah, sometimes I'm always kind of... I'm always kind of nervous about reacting to videos because I don't know if I contribute enough document... Docu um, what's it called? Uh, you know, where you... Not, not, not necessarily... Um, Commentary. Commentary. That's it. I always try to contribute plenty of commentary, and I hope I did this time. Anyways, um, with all that being said, a special, th uh, special call out to T5G for making such an amazing video. I learned a lot, and I plan to learn a lot more when they, you know, add more videos. So anyways, um, make sure you support the original content creator. They make amazing content, and um, yeah. Uh, if you like this content, then support the amazing content creators. That's basically what matters to me. Anyways, with all that being said, thanks for watching, everyone. You are loved, and have a great day.